Welcome back to the land of the seven suns with Fishy Plant Man as your host. <laughs> okay, um, I'm up here in the guppy cage because I thought I would show the guppies. Uh, Dad here has a little bit of black, a lot of orange, <laughs> And maybe you can see a little bit of yellow. Um, yeah. He's very colorful. I'm just not a big fan of that red orange. And his girls, as I'll call them, there's the mother, I believe, of charcoal. Um, but it's hard to, to be sure. Um, I think she's being as big as she is, um, and the camera doesn't show her true mass. <laughs> she's a big girl. She's, I'm sure she's got, uh, babies again. But the others, and I can't find a single fish all of a sudden. Um, I think the phone floating above them like a, um, some kind of predator is stressing them a bit. There. There's a smaller female. Um, right up there beside her is another smaller female. Um, so I think one of them two are the baby, or are, are the mother, are the babies. No, they're not babies. They're the adults. Um, but I think the smaller two, maybe mothers, one of them are each of them might be uh, mother of the smaller fish swimming around. The two big ones, I think this is their mother. Yeah, not a lot of color. She does look like a maybe a poor gray black and silver guppy. Um, maybe she went to the pet store because she was such poor grade. But I'll go ahead and... Uh, get down here now. It's not so bad now that I'm uh, not sick anymore. <laughs> I can kind of get around again, so that isn't so bad. Um, anyway, nobody cares. <laughs> you might be happy that I'm well again, but you really don't care about the, the sickness. Here is... Um, is that charcoal? Yeah, I think this is the one I decided to call charcoal. And she's not really showing up against the, um, Christmas cactus, Christmas, uh, island statue thing there. But I'm pretty sure that's the one I call charcoal. And over here, we have another jumbo. Um, this appears to be a male to me. Still very young, but I think that's going to be a male. <laughs> he will not sit still. But he's got some beautiful color. It's a, uh, let me get all the way down here. <laughs> Spare my knees. Um, <laughs> scoot up to the tank. <clears throat> yeah, he's, um, I don't know where he went. <laughs> it's as if filming guppies wasn't hard enough. I'm trying to film, uh, like adolescent, sub adult, uh, guppies. Um, yeah, there's one. <laughs> so, anyhow, I think that charcoal may and well may well be a female <laughs> um kind of like the story um and i suspect that this black and yellow male well, this is these are terrible videos trying to film guppies um right there the the black and yellow male I believe that he 
and she are probably brother and sister. Like I said, I think two uh, of that big female's babies managed to get out of the cage. And then there's other ones like that that maybe belong to somebody else. But that male, if he is in fact a, a male, he's still very young. I just find that color, I find it absolutely impossible to chase him. <laughs> but I find that color, provided a person could catch up to him, um, just absolutely amazing. And it's enough that if I could stabilize it, maybe with some colony uh, breeding, if I could stabilize those colors, I would like this tank when it fills up a little bit. And they might sell. Um, I think they would be different enough. There are black and yellow guppies out there. That's, you know, Go ahead, look it up. Black and yellow guppies on YouTube. I'm sure you'll find something. Um, but if I could stabilize these colors the way I want to stabilize them... <laughs> you know what? We're talking about the guppies. But they're so bloody hard to film. Maybe I'll film the Tetris as I talk about the guppies. Just because, yeah, <laughs> see, they're easier to film. Um, yeah, I might sell uh, some guppies if, if I can get those colors stabilized the way I want to stabilize them. They're, it's basically already there. I would just like to fine-tune what this, well, not here, these are tetras, but what uh, he looks like. I'd like to fine-tune it, kind of sharpen things up a little bit, and uh, that might be an interesting guppy. So, this video is going to be incredibly short because... Uh, yeah, seven, eight minutes. Um, I just don't have much to say other than, you know, I'm surprised of the colors I got. We'll film the, the ones in the cage again. I'll come back over. Um, I'm just really surprised what I got out of these fish. Now she, I think she was, um, that big female there. I think she might have been pregnant when I got her. Um, the other two were awfully skinny. So maybe, maybe not. But yeah, those two that I think came out of her, cause the others, yeah, they're like half the size. Um, I still believe they're basically the same age, but like, you know, you look at her, even compared to him, and he's a mature male, versus these two. The silvery one is like kind of medium, and the orangey one's even smaller. So, yeah. With the black, the the black of his pectoral fins there, um, maybe that's where the black came from. But I was not expecting, uh, like, solid black fins, not that they're solid black, and then black and yellow. So, I'm hoping... Yeah, it's just, the, the young ones are still just too small and way too skittish to really film. But, uh, 
Yeah. It's possible. They're still very young, like just over a month, I think. Um, so it's possible that more color might come out. Um, with that black, I, I keep thinking I'm going to film the, the fish I'm talking about. <laughs> um, but with that black and yellow one, I really hope no orange comes out. I, um, I want to get all the orange out and just do like black and yellow and stabilize, uh, the two colors the way I would like. And yeah, I, I think it would be not completely different, but, um, just kind of a new combination of the two colors. So, yeah, that is actually the plan. Um, I don't know if I said, but the original plan was to put a couple of angelfish in here. But if I'm going to do like a colony breeding project, I don't really need um, angelfish. They'll just eat babies. Um I'm, I'm already trying to think of, you know, the, the two, uh, sub adults. They're actually ready to come out. But where do I put them? Do I put them in with the neons? Where they're not really going to be able to do anything? Do I put them in here? Well, no, I think this cage is, you know, pretty full with four fish. I technically need, like, another little 10-gallon aquarium that I can put sub-adults, adults in, um... Maybe with a cage and some hiding spots. Um, kind of like this setup is supposed to be. Uh, of course, with uh, fantail guppies, the babies like to be around the top. And there's not a lot of hiding spaces. Uh, you can, or they can, you know tuck up above one of these uh, leaves. There's, you know, a few of them in here. They, you know, they can do that. But it's not like there's a lot. Um, there's four over here. Oh, that's a, that's a phony leaf. Although I suppose they could tuck up into it if they wanted to. Um... Back up over here, there's, you know, a couple up under there, actually growing. <laughs> so, you know, there, there's a couple of, but it's not like there's a lot of hiding spots in here when you've got sub-adults running around. So maybe I'll keep my eye out for a 10-gallon and put it below the the current 10 gallon. Um, yeah, I probably need another air pump and all that. But maybe I'll do that. Maybe, maybe I'll add a second 10 gallon. Um, this tank has already uh, apparently got enough of a fish load in it. I mean, there's four fish in here. Um, I think five baby guppies. And then, you know, there's three auto sinkless. Um, started out with five. The one never came out, so I had four. 
Um, and then one of them passed away and I thought, is there a problem? Well, a mature fish passed away. I didn't lose any of the babies, at least none of the babies that are accounted for. It was just one fish. So I figure that one fish was probably at the end of its life. Um, maybe it was old. Um, apparently autos like to be in large groups. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to um, let these other three um, live out whatever life they have left. But if they need to be in large groups, instead of replacing them, because I don't want six or more, uh, a maximum of five is what I was wanting. So if that's not a big enough group, maybe I'll go to snails. <laughs> just, just have snails instead. Um, yeah. I'm not going to try to fix it by adding more autos. But if that's the case, if you need a group that's, you know, six or larger uh, for people to, you know, consider you're doing it right, then I'll just wait until these last three pass and, yeah, replace them with something else. Uh, that'll be how I fix the problem. So, uh, okay, so maybe we've got a breeding project. It's kind of what it looks like. So, I'm crossing my fingers that I don't start seeing a bunch of orange. But if you look at him, at some point, I probably will. But at the same time, what is in this cage produced these babies that I like. So I don't think I'm going to change anything unless it's getting another tank for the babies that grow up that I want to, you know, set aside uh, for whatever reason. Maybe they're a desirable fish that I want to eventually go in the cage. Or maybe they're undesirable fish that can just go to a pet store or something for whatever I can get out of them. really hard to do a proper uh, breeding without either, you know, a couple of these cages, maybe two, I guess you can get as many as, as four of this size cage into this tank. Um, theoretically, that would work because of their size. I can have one here. If I back up, you can see that it kind of sort of goes from the end sort of to the middle. So, if I snugged it up a little bit better against the back, a second one should fit right beside it. And then two on this side. I could theoretically have four cages this size. But uh, I think I would probably prefer just two. One on each side. Because then at least I have room to, to work with the fish below them. So, that will be that for this one. Um... Yeah, 
It, it looks like I may be back into breeding guppies. <laughs> I didn't think I would for, you know, the, the profit margin. But if you bring something new, even with mutt guppies, if you kind of bring something new into the mix, like I suspect at some point he was a big deal. Maybe he is still something of a big deal. I, I don't remember what I paid for him. But of all the black and gold textures I've seen, I ha I've, I've seen some beautiful, you know, black and gold tetras. I, I think that when I first started noticing them, they were called cobra tetras. Uh, I think that's kind of changed to snake skin over, you know, maybe a little more than a decade or maybe a little more than two decades. Not quite sure. <laughs> um, I'm thinking back to when I seen that original uh, one that was called a cobra might have been more than 20 years ago. But looking things up recently, um, I did like five minutes of research on the black ones. I found like solid black and black and silver. Those are apparently relatively new to the hobby. Um, black and gold, not so much, you know, name may have changed a little bit, but, uh, yeah, the, the way I want these colors, I haven't seen too many fish that, that, uh, yeah, have, have this color pattern. I'm not really talking about, I mean, I showed the fish, but I'm not really talking about just how I want to stabilize these colors. Because I really don't want somebody jumping ahead of me and doing it faster. So, I will just do it. And then I will show um, kind of the finished product or at least a little bit closer. He's close, but he's not quite what I want. Uh, and I'm just looking at rocks again. Um, not quite how I want the pattern to look. I got to clean it up just a little bit. So, until next time.